Hello everyone, I'm Tiara Charday. Welcome back. I am here with a banger, come on in. So this message is for my cosmic wombs, also for anyone who resonates. So if you are one of my beloved brothers out there, please know that this message could possibly still apply to you. So, you know, tune in. All right. So what I was getting when I was meditating over the energies was fortunate and fertile. Fortunate and fertile. Maybe the F's mean something to you. Maybe your first name starts with F or you have a mom or dad. I don't know why I just got that mom or dad with the name F in it, but fortunate and fertile is what's coming through for my cosmic wombs. And as many of you know, um, cosmic womb is the term that I lovingly use for my sisters out there, my priestesses, my healers, my shamans, my medicine women, um, my chosen ones, those who are meant to heal their womb and the magic of the womb and heal the maternal bloodline, all of that falls under cosmic womb for me, okay? So if that sounds like you, then this message is for you, honey. So fortunate and fertile. So many of you, you could just now be, um, well, you could have been on your journey for a long time, but I feel like something may have just come in for you that lets you know where your journey is going next, right? Um, like you could have gotten the intel from spirit, like, okay, I'm meant to, you know, you're meant to do this. And now you're just seeing the road, right? So think of it like GPS. Maybe you're just now typing the address in and you're, you're going there. I'm getting swift advancement for someone, swift travel, swift change, swift up leveling. If you had just now re-decided, I heard, you made the re-decision to embark on your soul's purpose, something new is coming in from that re-decision that you made. I feel like that's gonna resonate with something, somebody. That's someone's story right there. Um, yeah, it's just gonna be swift up leveling on your path, okay? Um, some of you may be going through things right now that doesn't lead you to believe anything I'm saying, right? So maybe bills are due, maybe, um, you know, money is tight, or maybe, you know, um, someone in your life isn't treating you fairly. I just heard domestic violence. Maybe you're going through some sort of situation like that. I send you love and healing in your situation. Um, you know, I heard car got repoed. Oh no, like I'm, I keep hearing and seeing many different situations for some of you. Yeah, car repossession. Somebody feels like you're, you're on the precipice of losing everything or that you have nowhere to go. But the divine says that that's an illusion. Don't, don't look at it like that. Look at it, look at it as divine intervention really a chariot is outside for you it just looks like this right now you're very fortunate though please understand so somebody is needing to look around at what they have but also their skill set and their talents those are also assets right look at your assets and see yourself for who you truly are you're actually really amazing you're actually really fortunate you're well off okay and fertile fertility does not have to be child right childbirth um wow if you tuned into the message i did about um you're destined to save souls right if you tuned into that message we were literally talking about you being recruited at birth you being chosen at birth so this message could absolutely tie in so if you haven't watched that video make sure you tap in okay this this could be tied to you these messages um but it doesn't have to be giving birth to a child. Like I, I literally get somebody's birthing a project, somebody's birthing a business, somebody's birthing themselves, I heard. You're giving birth to the new you. Others of you, you could be doing your inner child work as well as your um, healing the mother wound, healing the father wound. You could absolutely be doing that right now. Oh uh, no, I'm not being called to pull cards. Um, you're doing that right now. So now there's there's a need for you to pay attention to the people that who you have around you. 
because I feel like cosmic womb, you're operating in generational wealth. You're operating in legacy. You're building it right now, okay? Or you have been building it. Um, you're building your empire. You're building the king and the queendom right now. Wow, it's tied to those messages that that are that were coming through earlier today. You're building the kingdom or the queendom right now, and you're wanting to be mindful of who's around you. Some of you, you're needing to actually break up from a relationship. You're literally needing, whether that's a friendship or a romantic union, you're needing to cut ties with a certain toxic energy or energies that are in your life. And this is really going to take some strength. It's going to take emotional fortitude and a real determination to move forward on your path for you to do this because I feel like this is somebody you love or this is somebody who you've been there for a long time or vice versa the divine does not want this person to enjoy your blessings in this new season that we've just embarked upon okay and that may sound harsh to some people but for my cosmic wombs my chosen ones you know exactly what I'm talking about and you probably know exactly who I'm talking about too all right, you're going to want to distance yourself as much as possible. Um, brainstorm for a while and see what resources you have at your disposal. Okay, whether th those are people, whether those are um, nonprofits, whether they're whatever it is. See what you have at your disposal to help you make this transition and make it. Because for some of you, I feel like the divine isn't going to give you your legacy, like the big, big prize, until you separate, until you break up you move, you block and delete, or you speak your peace, I just heard. Somebody needs to speak. And it's like the message we did the other day um, about the end of spell work, spell work backfiring, that message that we did. Somebody needing to say something and you saying it is gonna break the chains. It's going to bring in the change too, okay? Break chains and bring in change. Somebody is doing that simultaneously, I'm getting. But you have people in your energy field who are gonna be very jealous and I feel like spirit is wanting me to say this now, right? Because we don't like to get into that low vibrational stuff. We leave those people in the past. But the divine is wanting me to say this now um, for confirmation, but also so you know, so that you're aware that you currently have people in your life that don't want to see you win, baby. Like, I don't know what they've been telling you. They don't. Or they want you to do well, but not better than them. They don't ever want you to do better than them, honey. Not even like a quarter of better than them. So you have people in your energy field right now who think like that. And that's also a reason why you're needing to disconnect. It's also a reason why you're going to need to relocate because when your blessings come in, it's like the enemy can smell out good shit. They can, uh-uh, somebody's healing. Oh, no. <laughs> we got to shut this down, right? The enemy can, like, smell your blessing coming. They they want in. And sometimes some of you may notice as soon as you're about to be on, get on and get a promotion and up level, you have exes and everybody else just show up out of nowhere. It's because the devil in them right, and his nasty ass ugly minions can literally smell your success and your advancement coming in and they wanna throw you off course. So that's coming in now. So separate from the past, separate from toxic energies. Some of you are needing to let go childhood friends. That's been coming up. Somebody has been holding on to childhood friends and you've fallen into that whole narrative of, oh, you know, you're, you know you're a good friend when you have friendships that are 20 years long and you know I don't know most friends aren't loyal and all of this whole all of this stuff but really honestly I feel like that's a narrative of the devil <laughs> of the demons and the devil like because some of your friends you shouldn't be friends with past five years some of y'all shouldn't have been friends with people past two weeks okay so this is a real message for my cosmic wombs to evaluate your friendships and your childhood friendships. Why are you really holding on to this friendship though? Like, what's the reason? Is it a trauma bond? Is it, are you excelling together? Why are you friends with somebody? Somebody's really needing to ask themselves that because I feel like you're not gonna have a good answer. <laughs> you're not gonna have an answer that is worth 
you continuing to be in relationship with this person is what I'm getting. Wow, that's deep. That's deep. I just got two different things. Somebody wants you to be single because they want you all alone. And someone wants you to be with them so you don't receive lovers from other people or, or, or something like that. So you don't get another lover. Somebody wants you isolated so that people can't view you and see that you're actually a really great catch. Okay. So that's coming and that's somebody's message. All right. But um, really, y'all, disconnect from the past. Cosmic womb, you're being called to share your wisdom with the world right now. In whatever capacity that is, maybe you're an artist, maybe you're a writer, maybe you're an actress, maybe you're um, a marine biologist is what I heard. What did you discover in the in the waters? Okay, what did you discover, honey? Let me know. Because I love the water. Um, there's something there with that, y'all. You're coming into a new cycle. The divine does not want you to be quiet anymore. Now is the time. So someone is literally needing to write down all the ways that you're able to shine your light into this world and make a difference. What are your talents? What are your skills? What do you bring to this world? And pick one of those things, all right? Also, somebody's purpose in their destiny is calling you all. Y'all, many of you know my story. You can pinpoint your soul's purpose, your destiny, and your calling and career in your birth chart, study your North Node, your South Node, your Midheaven, your Mercury, your Pluto, <laughs> your rising and the houses. Okay, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I do offer birth chart services, um, soul's purpose report, as well as birth chart protection magic to protect your destiny. It's literally a ritual, it's literally magic, and I do it for you, and I also teach you how to do it, okay? So tap into that. But that is, is, is the message, Cosmic Wounds. Um, you're coming through fortunate and fertile. And you, if you're not seeing that right now, please trust that that is the path that you are embarking on. It's showing up. The divine really, you see how passionate I am right now? The divine really wants you to trust that your future is bright, that your present is bright. And focus, focus on that, okay? So I, I feel like that's all the messages to share with you this evening. Um, make sure you protect your inheritance. Make sure you protect your legacy, protect your empire, spiritually, legally, and physically. Cosmic Room, yes. Some of y'all gonna have to get the strap. <laughs> With this blessing and this abundance come in, you gonna have to get the strap, sis. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you, all right? Just because this is the climate that we're moving in, bullying and gang stalking is at an all time high yeah protect yourself baby you're the queen for a reason you're built strong enough and wise enough to handle what's coming in towards you okay and it's big beautiful blessings fortunate and fertile you are my love trust that okay again I am Tiara Chardé. Thank you for liking and subscribing. Thank you so much for donating. The information to do so is in the description box below. Those who come to my channel, you're already blessed and, and you're covered. Those who donate, I actually put you in a separate category and I do that work for you, baby, because I see you and you know I understand that energy exchange. So those who donate, you know, you are blessed and highly favored already, but I sprinkle a little extra pixie dust on you, honey, because you're letting me know that you really care about my well-being and you really want me to feel like the priestess and the goddess that I am. Yes. And you should too. So that's another thing really quick. Okay. Cosmic womb. Make sure you're not turning down offers of help, donations, money, income. Make sure you're not closed off from receiving those things, right? Because if you are closed off from receiving those things, it's, it means that you're needing to heal more, okay? That's what it means. Because the priestess, the goddess, the cosmic wombs, we receive happily gifts, prosperity, money, all sorts of things. Because that's who we are. Yeah, that's one of the ways that you show honor. And it's always been that way. I feel like in, in nowadays, you're going to be called a gold digger and all of that stuff. But we know why we're being gifted these things we used to know that honor 
and and sound morals and ethics that used to be the way that we operated in our in our day-to-day life and i feel like you know society we've gotten so disconnected by by that so i'm really happy that the divine brought that to me now because some of you you're refusing um affluence or luxury or there's something in your energy field you're repelling that maybe you really don't think you deserve it so there's a need to do that because you know generational wealth for many of y'all does include coin it does include that and maybe you're blocking that and the divine doesn't want you to do so okay so that's wow that's really important for someone all right so again i love y'all i will see you on the next video peace and love